recording you we're gonna send this recording to you you're ready to receive if you had a friend people you've invited they're not yet in please let them know joanne has started i'm ready to teach and i want to respect our time because one of the things that i always tell my clients is that you know time cannot be rewinded right and you taking your time to be here and being here on time needs to be rewarded right so let me also know you're ready to receive and apart from being ready to receive oh i love it i'm seeing yes marie I see Kaine, awesome, Rose, Flo, Julia, Juliana. Thank you so much, ladies, for engaging. And before we start, I just want to hear from the people, you know, those who have already just joined in. Are you new or are you true? So new means you've not had an experience of me before. You're like, who is this person? I don't know her. I was invited by my friend. I just joined in. I'm like curious about all this. That's new. True means you know me, you've experienced me, you've been a part of my life. So I want to see who's new and who's true. And we want to welcome the news as well. I want to send a special message to all the news. Oh, Alma is here. Alma um, is, she'll introduce herself in the chat later because we have that moment, but she's bit local to me and we go to the same church i'm a thing oh my goodness yuna all the way in ghana welcome Flo, arizona i'm already saying the, the truth <laughs> oh you're new anna welcome welcome kathy new and true how are you both <laughs> i'm curious oh yeah you're true julia you've known me for many years marie is a true okay no, you're a true og i'm not even gonna talk from i think 20 20 whatever like all those years right all right so let's you know the truth welcome the news welcome everybody who is new i want everybody to feel at home welcome anna welcome kathy welcome sylvia oh welcome sylvia kathy uh, of course um ama and everybody else who will be joining in later you're tuned in from Iceland. Oh my goodness. Um, you know, that's why I say that I run a global, amazing, amazing that I run a global community. Imagining people are in Ghana, Iceland, Nairobi, the UK, you know, Arizona. Welcome newbies. HFC is a gem. HFC is a name that one of my clients coined and everybody uses it. And it means highly favored coach. And I walk in that favor, the favor of God. I can tell you, I would not be here without God. He has taken me from the dark, deep, miry pit. And he has elevated me to a place I don't even understand. So I want to say that with all humility, and that's why I want you to come in ready to receive because God has such a special word for you. And even if you're not a Christian or you don't know what God is or you don't believe in that, stay with me. Don't start logging off and running away and saying, oh my God, she's preaching. I will preach and I will speak. But I think the most thing, the biggest thing I want you to know is that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. And I'm sending you all so much love all so much good vibes, all so many blessings. I can see many of you interacting in the screen, uh, in the chat. You know, many of you have done courses with me, programs with me. You've gotten to know each other. So that's what I love about this community. We love each other. We care for each other and we welcome each other. So I'm going right to it. I don't want to waste your time. I want to make sure that you get exactly what we came you came for. So can you write for me in the chat? I am getting what I came for. Say that. I am getting what I came for. Say that. I am getting what I came for. I want to sit in the chat as I open my presentation. I'm so excited, you guys. This. <laughs> you guys know how I get excited. And if you don't, you, you'll never find someone as excitable as me. Yeah, Kathy, Juliana, your Geshi. Yes, Flo, Sylvia in Iceland. That's, that's Iceland is really jazzing my life, you know? So let's go, ladies. Let's go. And gents, but then there are a few good men who signed up. Um, and I just want to welcome them. Can you please let me know? that you can see my screen in full. Yes, no? 
And I love you guys are coming in really fast. Hi, Lydia. Nice to have you. You're getting what you came for. Rosemary, I see you. Mercy, all the way in the US. So nice to see. And if you're new, say you're new, Miss Bella. Oh my God, this is so, so exciting. Grace, welcome. So happy to have each one of you. And I'm really delighted. So right in the chat, you can hear well. Can someone tell me, am I audible? Let me know if you can hear me well. Lydia, you're welcome. I love newbies. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I just said someone else to say, can you hear me? Very clear. I think, Anne, you need to check your, your thing, yeah? You're audible, very clear. Awesome, awesome. And as you put the, the in the comments, raise your, your volume, Yuna. Oh, Felicia is here. Right to everyone, right? Um, can be louder. Okay, I'll do my best to raise my voice. I have quite a loud voice, so I guess I can do that. Anyway, that said, um, I want us to start. And what are you here for? If you've forgotten what you signed up for, I want to say you have signed up for the Aligned Mid-Year Reset. It's time for you to get your mojo back in life and in business, and of course, in your career. So those of you who are low, just add your volume, log out, log back in. I think it could be something on your end because everybody else seems to be hearing me loud and clear. So let's not get distracted. Let's keep moving, ladies. So reminder, you're here for a reason. You signed up for this webinar, not to just come and waste your precious time. You could be doing something else with your family, your loved ones. It's a public holiday for, you know, uh, in some places. It's Eid. So you could be eating pilau and all the other eat delicacies, but you're here. So I want to remind you to please turn off all distractions, put your phone on silent, close your WhatsApp. It's such a distractor, you guys know that. Stop ticking and talking right now. Get off your Instagram and give yourself this time to be present and learn. I'm not bringing in fluffy stuff. I'm not bringing stuff that will, you're like, oh my God, I've had that so many times. And even if you have, repetition is good for you. So I pray that you're going to get so much from the time that we are together and that you will interact with me and interact with the content that I'm going to share with you as we prepare to step into the second half of the year. So I want you to screenshot and share. This is just a little activity that I thought will bring some engagement. Uh, you can share on, on Instagram in your stories. You can screenshot, share, use hashtag, uh, hashtag aligned mid-year reset and tag us, tag us is me at purpose underscore cultivator. That's my Instagram handle. And if you're not on Instagram, it's okay. I just thought that we needed to do some activity to sort of um, keep us engaged and keep us locked in together as we do this. So screenshot these and share it and tag, it, tag me in your stories. I will be very happy to reshare them. I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with, right? Now, who am I? I've had so many people say new, new, new. I'm going to go around. <laughs> I'm a Kenyan girl with big dreams living in the UK. Fun fact, I'm so left-handed. You can even see it right now. That it's the first thing that many people notice about me. They're like, you're so left-handed. I am so left-handed. Um, my mantra is, if you're not honoring your purpose, you are suffocating your soul. If you're not living your life purpose, darling, you really need to connect with me, the purpose cultivator, because you're suffocating your soul. I have helped many ambitious professional women align with their life purpose and launch businesses and scale businesses that they deeply love. So if you run a passion-based business or a business that is just starting and you want to scale it and you want to grow it, that's me. Or you're yet to start a business and you're like, you know what, I, I am a professional woman, but I want to make some money on the side. Many of you have done that with me. Um, that's something that I absolutely do. So I am Joanne Maturi, a life purpose and business coach. I started my business at the end of 2016 after leaving my job with the United Nations. Another fun fact, I worked there for 13 years long time. I, I scaled the heights in my corporate career until God saw it fit to assign me elsewhere. And this is my life work. I'm living out my purpose and my purpose is to help you find your purpose and help you live a life that is aligned 
a life that feels right, a life that makes sense to you, not somebody else, a life that is intentional and pours from the deepest part of you. Uh, for seven years, I've been working full time as a business and purpose coach. So that means I am quite experienced. I'm not a newbie in these streets. I've watched many people come and go. I've also had moments where I felt so, my God, this is not easy. But I can tell you for a fact that I have been consistent. I have maintained the faith. And I'm here to say that this is what I do and I love it. And if it aligns with you, I really look forward to getting to help support you. So I want you to introduce yourself in the chat and where you are streaming in from. L ladies and a few good men, I want you to blast that chat. Like just say quickly who, uh, who you are and where you're streaming in from because it also excites me. I know a few of you have already done that, but I want to see you light up the chat with where you are streaming in from. I am streaming in from the United Nations. <laughs> Oh my God, I have talking about my corporate career. <laughs> Beg your pardon. <laughs> That's how you know it's alive. It's, a, it's live. It's not pre-recorded, right? I'm streaming in from the United Kingdom in Northampton. I'm very excited to be doing this. I had a long hire task in Kenya, about three months, and I just returned a little over a month ago, resettling back to my life here. It's summer, so I'm in a very happy state, been socializing, been enjoying my life, my one royal life, that's what I call it. I say I live my one royal life with boldness and with courage. That's what I say to myself every single day. All right, so let's see. Rose, Nairobi, it is here. Oh, Carol from Peterborough, my dear friend. Marie, Uganda, Coventry, Anna, welcome. Anna Asante, an independent beauty consultant streaming in from London. Thank you for making your very clear introduction, Nana, that's good. Bella from Kenya, Miss Bella. It was just her birthday like yesterday or the day before. Rosemary, Nairobi, Liz, welcome, Nairobi, I see Nairobi, Kathy, Brenda from Kenya, welcome, sweetheart, Doreen, Dr. Doreen is in the house, welcome, Dr. Doreen, we honor you, happy to have you, Esther, Queen Esther is here from Bedford, very close to me, Lydia from Nairobi, Rispa, Rispa and Esther's sister, sorry, I know quite, quite a few of these people, Tayo, Tayo hosted the tea party that I shared on Instagram. So if you guys saw that on Instagram and Facebook, Tayo, so lovely to have you. And it was her birthday yesterday. So happy birthday, Tayo, again. Yuna from Ghana, Nadine from South Florida. Beautiful. I've always been meaning to go to Florida. Flo from Arizona. Kaine Kampala, based again, very good um, intro. She's based in Kampala, freelance translator, travel consultant, and self esteem coach. Rogeshi is in the UK. Welcome, UK people. Julia is in Thika, Kenya. She's a leadership and productivity coach. Great intro. Hey, Sylvia. Sylvia in Iceland, tuned in from Iceland. I love it. She's a public health officer by profession, currently practicing international maritime public health. Love it. Oh my God. Juliana, Juliana, sweet Juliana in Nairobi. Carol, Kenya, working as a care manager. At Dr. Anne from Uganda, Karibu, welcome. Oh, Grace from Harare. Is in, guys, this is just an international community, isn't it? Mercy from Orlando, Florida. Uh, Ama from Northampton, and she comes to chat with me. Hey, Chef Nyambura, highly favored Nyambura in Kenya, dear friend of mine, Nerea, Nairobi. Welcome, welcome, Tabs. Welcome. It's so nice to have each one of you. And thank you so much for sharing. It just delights my spirit. And you flooded the chat as I requested. So well done. And even of those of you who didn't do it, it's okay. I won't catch feelings. It's fine. Uh, but those who introduced yourselves, that was wonderful. At least we know each other. You know, you don't go to someone's house and they don't and you don't share where you're from. It's nice for people to know where we're all coming from. So that's just general good practice. So you're in the right place. <laughs> I love this video. It just tickled me as I was creating these slides. You need help with getting clarity on your Q3 and Q4 goals and vision. You're feeling some sense of disorientation. It's not necessarily disorientation. You're just probably feeling meh. Like you need some juice in life. You need some injection of color right now in your life. And you want to do great things in the next six months of the year. You desire to take stock of where you're at in the year. 
we are just, there's a deviant, sorry, drama lapsy, amend, rectify, or remove. You can't seem to stick to the plan that you set at the beginning of the year. Hmm. My vision board queens, because I've, I've, many of you have done vision boards with me, and you've probably done them with other people or by yourself, is your vision board gathering dust in some corner. It's time to take it out, remove that dust. And perhaps it may mean that you readjust, you amend, you rectify or remove some of the items on your vision board. That's okay. Not everything is locked in stone, you know? It's not tattooed on your forehead that you must follow a certain plan and that's why I'm here. Because alignment is allowing yourself to follow whatever is calling you at a particular time. And we're gonna talk about that as we go on. Look at those monkeys, they're so cute. Oh, bless them. <laughs> so believe it or not, what I've just shared, I've been there too. A few short years ago, I was overwhelmed. I was stuck in my own head. I had lots of feelings of insufficiency around where I wanted my life to be. I'm a type A personality. I'm such a go-getter. And I was like, I don't feel I am where I should be at this time of my life, which again is a mockery to God in so many ways when I think about it, because you know, God's timing is perfect and he knows exactly where we're meant to be. So it's not a bad thing to feel that, but it's a bad thing if you're not doing anything about it, but trust in the timing that is right. And this is a perfect time for you to be here. If you're one of those people, you're feeling, oh my God, I should be so much further, so much far, uh, ahead. Don't worry, I've got you. I loved what I did at the UN. I had risen up, I was second in command in the organization I was working for in Nairobi, but I was not aligned with what I truly desired. I, I felt like there was more. You know, I was at the top of my career, I was doing really well. I was making good money, but very empty inside in the sense that I was like, I was not really owning my true desires. Whenever I went to a place and I saw people picking a mic and speaking, and I'm just like, that is my thing. I wish I could just be speaking. I wish I could be teaching. I wish I could be. But I didn't really know that there's something called coaching and that there's such a path. And that's why I say that your path has been pre-ordered by God. And I want you to have that confidence that you are exactly where you're meant to be. And something kept whispering to me, which I now know you know, in retrospect, you know, hindsight 20, uh, 2020 is that that's the Holy Spirit that kept telling me, Joanne, you are meant for more. Joanne, you are meant for more. So write your name and put it in the chat. Whatever your name is, you are meant for more. So Ama, I am meant for more. Got it? Juliana, I am meant for more. HFN, I am meant for, like, write it out. Anna, I am meant for, put it in the chat so that you can, you know, if you know you're meant for more, right? If you know you're not meant for more and you're okay, kaine, <laughs> you know that it's intrinsic. Nana, you know it, it's inside. E.T., that's right, you know, you know it. And, you, and even as you're typing it, you're not like typing it from a place of, oh my God, rolling your eyes at me. You know deep inside that truly you're meant for more. And that's what I want you to understand. And that's what we are doing today. And you know, some of you, you know, are asking, what does, you know, I meant for more mean? I meant for more, it's not necessarily about even money or whatever. It's about you understanding that when you're in alignment with your God-given assignment, this is what happens. Alignment is when your thoughts, your life choices and direction where you're going is honoring your core values. So my core values are my faith, purpose, freedom, abundance, and excellence. Those are my five core values. They lead everything I do. So if something is taking away freedom from me, if something is interfering with my relationship with God, if something is taking me away from my purpose, if something is not excellent, when I talk, I'm not talking about perfection here, I'm talking about a standard of excellence, giving it my all. And if something is feeling lacking or scarce, that mindset, it's taking me from away from the abundance zone. It's not for me. I'm misaligned. Alignment is when we listen to our intuition, darlings, get this, and move through the world embodying our true selves. You're not I'm embodying your dad's you know, self. You're not embodying your husband's self. You're not uh, embodying your teacher's self. You're not emb embodying your coach's self. Because I see some coaches who try to make their clients mini clones of themselves, and that really bothers me. You're not a clone of me. You're different. You have your own life, right? And I want you that when you know, when you listen to your intuition and move through the world embodying your true self, 
God opens up doors that will, you know, I cannot explain. Alignment is function and action with ease. Write that. Alignment is function, function, functionality, function, and action with ease. There's no straining. In simple time, in simple terms, I can say this. Alignment is just when things make sense. Listen, I'm not saying that you not have troubles, you not have stress, you'll not have tribulations. You're in this world. And as long as in this world, you'll have issues coming in through your way. But when you're aligned, right? Just think about this. And I want you guys to tell me if this makes sense to you. Think of a moment or moments in your life when things just made sense. Maybe you met a partner and you're like, this is my person and you just knew it. Or you started a new job. Or you launched your business or started your uh, passion business in, bake, in baking cakes or doing something like that. And you're like, oh my God, this just makes sense. This is what I should be doing now. What was happening at that time when you're making that decision? Where was your mind at the time when you're in that state? I want you to start thinking about this. You know, what were you feeling? My guess would be that there was a calmness. There was an ease. There was a peace of mind, right? Maybe you didn't even just think about it. I'm making you think about it now. You just took the next step. You just took action. You just took that step and the next step and the next step, right? Alignment, my friends, right, is usually coming from a place of peace, a place of calm, a place of deep knowing, deep knowing. Write for me in the chat, deep knowing, deep knowing, a place where things just make sense. And that's what I knew I was as I move to my next slide. When I made the difficult decision, and I repeat the word difficult decision, because everybody thought I was crazy walking out of my UN job. People told me, do you know how many people pray for that job? And people were saying all manner of things, but I knew that, the, that when God spoke to me, it wasn't a conference call. When God told me it was time for me to transition and step into my next, Nobody was in that call. Nobody, not even my husband, nobody. It was me and God. So when you're given those instructions, let me tell you this, delayed obedience is still disobedience. Of course, I took time. I'm not saying that I did it immediately. I, had, I gave my organization sufficient time. They rejected my, <laughs> it was so funny. My boss actually rejected my resignation letter and put it on the side and said, I'm not even opening it. And I'm like, you have to, it's time, darling. This little baby of yours has to fly her wings. I was one of those bosses, pets. Every, you know, my boss adored me. I still adore my former boss. Um, she came to visit us. One of my, before the one, the current one, the one before came to visit us here in Northampton just last weekend uh, on her way from New York. So, I mean, I built really good, good relationships and I'm not saying this to toot my horn but I nurture relationships I'm one of those people I just love people and when I love you I'm loyal to you to the end that's just my nature and when I feel you I feel you right when I feel you I feel you you know what I mean like I don't struggle so being able to step into my purpose and remember my mantra right if you're not living out your purpose you're suffocating your soul so when I was able to step into my purpose and align myself with my God-given assignment with ease everything changed. I started setting goals for my life. I started setting goals for my business. I started setting goals for my health. Uh, some of you know right now, I'm, I've been on this weight release journey. We are at 15 kilos, incredible. People see the change. I'm doing Slimming World of Loss. Literally, I'm about to get my three stone award, which is huge. You can do the calculation for yourself. Uh, it's a lot of weight. Let's just put it that way. But as I've released it, so many things have changed in my life. I feel energetic. I feel so aligned to my purpose. I feel lighter. I just feel like God is just propelling me further, further and further into my next level life, right? I knew I needed to do things differently and fast. You have to be decisive, right? Because success loves speed. You can't drag your feet. You can't be indecisive and expect to see success in life. And that's when I started to brutally audit the different areas of my life. So I started auditing my health. I was having so many issues. Some of you know, I won't go into that long story. I almost died. Doctors had given me six months to live. Almost 10 years ago, I'm a miracle. My doctors called me their, val their valiant warrior. What I went through, I can't talk about it right now. It was hell on earth. But I'm here to testify that there is a God who heals, the great physician, 
I am back to myself and nobody can, when you look at me right now as I speak to you, I keep telling people, I don't look like what I've gone through. You know what I mean? I've, I don't look like what I've gone through. Many of you, do, do, do many of you recognize that? Just tell me if you recognize that, Lydia. Do you understand that will be and Do you get that feeling of, I do not look like what I've gone through? Can some of you write that in the chat if you identify with that? I do not look like what I've gone through. Write that for me in the chat. It's T.D. Jakes who says that, and I love it the way he says, you know, when he's hollering and shouting and he says, I do not look like what I've been through in such to the Jake's voice, kind of, that was quick, I love it. I do not look like what I've been through, that's me. Thank you, Sylvia, I said. Let me tell you guys, I do not look like what I've been through, Nana, Dorothy, Carol, Bella, I don't. So I want to say this, when I started to brutally audit my health, my relationships, my money, my business, right? My relationships, right? My space, where I live, what my life looks like. And, you know, I really had to, to be brutally honest with myself that there are some things that really needed to change, right? We can kid ourselves that we are all hunky-dory and we are fine and we can project this exterior look that I'm okay, I'm fine. But let me tell you what, we all have areas that we can improve. We all have areas that are, you know, that, <laughs> that just need help, you know? Like when the Apostle Paul said he has a thorn in his flesh. We all have thorns in our flesh, right? And, and, and Bible, Bible, teachers please don't start correcting me and telling me I'm using it out of context but you understand what I mean that if you know a thorn in your flesh we all have something that is lingering that needs to be fixed right but sometimes we don't want to look at it because we're like it's probably too hard for us or it triggers us or you know it's from trauma from the past and I teach a lot of this stuff in my mindset makeover program and many other programs that I teach but I want to say this we that you need to brutally audit your life so let's keep going so how about we do the same for you, right? I would like that very much. Yes, yes, say yes. Would you want to do the same for yourself? Would you want to brutally audit your life? Tell me yes. <laughs> oh dear, I just, I have a sense of humor. This are the kind of things I like in my life. Like, <laughs> you're like, look at her slides. I, I, I'm just like that. I, I don't like boring. I don't do boring. So I try to make my things as interactive as possible. Can you let me know if you're learning something? Oh, yes, Shit's Creek. Can you tell me something? Are you enjoying? Are you getting something? Or you're like, whatever, man. You're enjoying it. Thank you, Gladwell. Bless you, HFM. All right, so let's keep going. So how about we do the same for you, right? Oops, I'm going backwards when I should be going forward. So the first thing that we need to do, my loves, is to, is to determine how do we clarify your aligned vision for the second half of the year? So that's the first point. Write it in the chat, clarification of your vision. Let me tell you what, if you're not clear, I always say clarity breeds power. So the first thing that you need to do, and we're going to do this as I talk, and you can take out your notebooks and do this work alongside me, is do a media reflection. Have you achieved the goals you set in January? You know, I know we are evolving beings, things change, but just be honest with yourself. The things that you put on that vision board, are you with them? Are you, or some of you don't do vision boards, you set intentions, you set some goals, or you set to yourself, I'm going to do this or the other. Have you done it? And if you've done it, why have you done it? Like what made you stick to it? You understand what I mean? And if you haven't, why not? What stopped you in your tracks? What happened? And I always ask my clients, you know, all the time, because this is part of self-coaching and really understanding yourself, part of self-awareness is what have you learned, whether you did it or not. Miss Bella and I, um, and a couple of other people, I don't think they're on the call, did a, so it's, it's something, and please don't start Googling it now because it's, it's gonna take you from what I'm doing teaching. It's called 75 hard, and I hope at some point, Miss Bella, you can explain what that is. It's, it's something that when we started, I was in Kenya, I was like, this thing is just, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. 75 hard. It required five activities per day, and I won't go into the depths of it right now, but those five activities were not easy. But because we did it in a group, 
and we did it in a in a way that you know was so positive and motivating and we was also committed to completing it was so amazing for me when I got to the finishing line and by the time I finished that's where this weight had left because one of the things we needed to do was to do exercise twice a day and if, and for those 75 days I did it it was excruciatingly hard but I did it right why because I was committed right and I had the support of community surrounding me the five ladies, four ladies and myself doing it together were so tight and so dedicated to support each other that we had no choice but to succeed. And he said that no woman left behind. So some of them haven't finished, Miss Bella and I, and two others have completed, two are yet to finish, but we are together. That's what, you know, reflect and ask yourself, what needs to be tweaked, what needs to be adjusted, what extra support do you need? Do you feel that you didn't get what you needed to do because you didn't have the level of support that you needed or you got disoriented along the way or life happened? Life happens. Let me tell you this. Life can be a, let me just say, B-I-T-C-H. And things can happen that can throw you off the rail. But at the same time, life is so beautiful. And there's that yin and yang, that ability to, you have to have that ability to balance both. So the second thing about clarity and being clear on your vision is celebrating your wins. Many people don't celebrate as one of those, I'm a doer, I'm an action taker. Many of the people who work with me know I'm do, do, do. And sometimes, and I've learned to move from my doing, which is my masculine energy, more into the feminine energy of being. So part of being is celebrating. Before I just used to make all these big, big, big strides in life. And I'd be like, okay, good, tick box, what's next? That was me. But now the smallest thing, oh my God, I'll go buy flowers for myself. I'm going to buy champagne, the most expensive champagne and just celebrate. Why? Because the moment you're in that gratitude mode and celebrating your wins, big or small, you're boosting your confidence going forward and laying a foundation for more wins to come. So learn to celebrate yourself. That's part of clarity of vision. When you recognize the things that are making sense and the moving parts, that are working for you. Number three, look at where you're at currently and reassess your priorities. It's different from the first one. And I think it's the same, but it's accepting where you're at right now. What's happened has happened, right? What's happened has happened right in the chat. Life isn't static and things change. I woke up, I woke up one day, said I'm going to Nairobi. I was going to be there for one and a half months. I multiplied it to three months. Did that change many things? It did, but I needed to be home. I needed to be present for my parents. I needed to be present for my family. My sister and her family came down from Australia. Uh, we hadn't seen each other since 2020. So I had to be there for my family. I had to enjoy my safaris and go on holiday. I did a retreat with my clients. Uh, some of my amazing clients turned up for the retreat. It was just gorgeous. I needed to be home. I needed to settle so many things that were pending. Uh, you know, as I said, putting out some fires that had been left pending for a while. I just needed to be home. That derailed me greatly in the sense that a lot of the things that I had planned to do had to be put on pause. Why? Because I needed to just spend that time with my family and to get some rest because last year was go, 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 go. And I was literally on the cusp of, of burnout. So I needed to get to myself, get back to myself, get back to me. So unexpected things crop up that seemingly derail even our best laid plans, right? So examples could be loss of a job, could be relationship dynamics, you're struggling maybe in your marriage, or you have a troubled child, or your, you know, your child is moving from one stage to another and you need to be very much there for them. Or a sickness, when I got sick, my life completely changed. We're not going back there, it's in the past, it's history, right? Welcoming a new baby, your dynamics change the way you are. And a brand new baby in the house completely changes things. So analyze where you're at currently and be very gracious with yourself because many of us are so harsh and so harsh and so harsh and so uh, uh, mean to ourselves, right? We put ourselves down for things that are not even about you. It's about life happening. We evolve, we keep moving, things change, and that's okay. Life isn't static. And the moment you recognize that, you'll be a very happy person. And then also the last thing, this clarity bit, is understanding first things first. What are your priorities? 
the people who just have zero priorities, they're all over the place, they're scatterbrained. You cannot be all things for everyone. Some of you think you're Jesus, you're not Jesus. You're not, there's only one Jesus and you can't be a savior for everybody that comes your way. They sound harsh, but it's the reality. And that's why many people get bitter and resentful towards people who don't acknowledge them or don't even, um, you know, who operate from a sense of entitlement, but you have trained them. You have taught them that you're their savior and that you can help them, but you're not, I'm sorry. Take off that role, take off that robe that you've worn. Identify what feels aligned for you to be focusing on in the next 90 days. And I'm gonna talk about that shortly. So you can say, cause I work in 90 day um, blocks, right? It works so much better for my mind, 90 days. So I say we have Ju July, August, September. So my 90 days will be to the end of September. That's the 30th of September. Those are the goals I'm setting. Um, so it could be working on your mindset. I know a couple of you have said, I really need to work on my mind mindset. Many of you keep telling me that. Getting into better health, right? Getting a job promotion, improving a key relationship. Like if you know a key relationship, your marriage is falling apart, try and fix it. Like get therapy. There are all those things that, you know, you could be doing the next, next 90 days. Some of you could be launching a new business. Some of you could be considering um, scaling your current business some of you could be pivoting from one thing to another so i want you to understand first things first what are your priorities right tell me we are together right from in the chat we are together we are together tell me we are together in the chat right we are together so i want to share a story with you and it's best read so that i don't butcher the story and it's called the jar of life taking uh, making time for what happens and uh, uh, making time for the things that most important things in life. So what is the jar of life? It is a way of thinking about your life. Uh, people know it by many names. Some of you have heard of it. Tell me if you've heard of it. The Big Rocks Analogy, The Pebble Story, Life in the Jar Poem, Jar of Stones, Professor Jar Story. It's been used all over the place. Tell me if it's familiar or not. But whether it's familiar or not, I'll remind you what it is, right? So once upon a time, there was a wise philosophy professor who silently stood before his philosophy class in the lecture theater. On the table in front of him, he had a large glass mason bar, jar, a pile of large rocks, a box of pebbles, a pot of sand, and a pitcher of water. Yeah? In front of his class, he started filling up the jar with the big rocks. When they reached the top of the jar, he held it up to the students and asked them if the jar was full. Is it full, he asked. The students nodded and agreed that yes, the jar was indeed full. There was definitely no more room to put any more rocks in it. So it was full, according to them. The professor turned back to the table and picked up the box of small pebbles before pouring the entire contents into the jar too. He then shook the jar so that the pebbles filled the spaces around the big rocks. He went on and asked them, is the jar full? They're like, yes, 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 it's full, it's full, it's full. Then he asked them, is it really full? He then picked up, right, the box of sand. He poured the sand in between the pebbles and the rocks. Then once again, he held up the jar to his class and asked if it was full. They're like, yes, it's full, it's full, it's full. He asked, are you sure it's full? He finally picked a pitcher of water and tipped the water into the jar until it trickled into all of the remaining space. The students laughed. The professor went on to explain to his class that the jar of rocks, pebbles, sand, and water represents everything that we have in our lives. So let's look at this. What does the jar represent? And I really hope this is inspiring you guys as you listen and you're taking stock. You're thinking about your own life. You're not just like looking at these slides and just saying cute slides or yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to really think long and hard. So the jar represents your time on earth. Alternatively, it can represent your time in a week, a month, the next six weeks. So that's a jar, right? Then the rocks. The rocks represent the most important things in your life. E.g. your family, your health, your purpose, your passions, the things that money cannot buy. Now I want you to start thinking, what are some of your rocks? Can I see the rocks in, your, in the chat? What are your rocks? What's most important to you? Things that money cannot buy. Can I see that in the chat, please? What are your rocks? And then the pebbles 
are the things in your life that matter and are necessary, but you can live without them. You're not going to die without them. You know what I mean? They may come and go throughout your life and are not essential to your overall well-being. So if you don't have a car today, you're not going to die. It's not the be all end all and material possessions. The other day I was doing this declutter and I, I'm not even halfway through it. And I'm like, I have so much stuff. And I was telling my husband, I'm a, such a sentimentalist. And he was just rolling his eyes and he's like, that's not sentimentalism, it's holding. And I'm like, okay, I guess so, right? But some of those things, I don't really need them. They can go, they can benefit somebody else. And then the sand represents the small stuff in life, the fairly unimportant and insignificant things, insignificant things, I beg your pardon, that wouldn't be missed if you didn't have time for them. For example, watching TV. The other day I was watching some ridiculous show and I'm like, what am I watching? Like, what's this nonsense? But somehow it kept me glued in, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, I'm not going to watch this. Uh, pointless social media browsing. Many of you know I post and I leave. I like my client stuff. I like a few people's stuff and out. I will not be held hostage by social media. Even though social media is what drives my business. I can tell you for a fact. To a large extent, I get a lot of clients from social media, but I can tell you for a fact it doesn't hold me hostage at all. And then overthinking. Yes, I said that. It's sand, it's insignificant, it doesn't help you to overthink. It doesn't help you to worry. It doesn't help you to procrastinate. That's the sand, right? And then the water. When you're living this aligned lifestyle that I'm teaching you about, no matter what is happening in your life, you can always make time to have a glass of wine, a glass of Prosecco, or coffee if you don't drink or whatever you drink, your, your green smoothie with your friends or loved ones, that's the water. So I want to say this, you know, as I've talked about this second bit, right? I want you to think about the flip side. If instead of putting the big rocks in first, you start by filling the jar with sand, you will soon find that you don't have room for the rocks or the pebbles. So continuing with the metaphor, if you spend all of your time on the small and insignificant things, you'll notice that you'll soon run out of time for the most important things, the things that are truly important. So if you don't know what your priorities are and you don't plan your day, you might end up sort of filling it with the wrong things. You know what I mean? Do you ever find yourself like you go back the other day, one of, my, one of the people wrote in a group and I smiled. She said, I have, today is a wasted day. I have done nothing. I can say she said she can account for a thing. Yet she had done a workout and something, and someone said to her that you did a workout, you did something. But there are days that you'll look at and you'll feel like that's a wasted day. Is that familiar? And you go at the end of the day, you go to bed, you feel unfulfilled as you never got around to doing the big stuff, the important stuff that matters to you, right? And you found yourself instead spending time on things that don't matter, trivial things. So I want you to start thinking in, in, you know, in this context of what I'm teaching you, right? Identify the big rocks, pet balls, and sand in your life. This is personal to you and may be completely different to everybody else on this call. There's no right or wrong. Your life is your life. Just what is most important and meaningful to you. The things that matter to you may not necessarily be what matter to me. So think about your big rocks. Ensure that your big rocks are scheduled into your day. Calendar them diarize them that's the word before fitting this other stuff around them so for example if you if you have a health goal can you please slot in the gym or your walk or whatever exercise fast before anything else that's how you you lock it in it's a big rock you better take care of it right and then start with the big rocks in the morning that's what i always tell my clients so, because when you start with it, it's, um, I forget the name of that, but eat the frog fast, like take the things that really matter at the beginning and the hard things. It's that, eat that frog, isn't it? By, I forget his name, Brian Tracy, that's it. So that means that if anything else that is urgent crops up, you wouldn't have to push your big rocks to the side because you've already taken care of them. And then be careful that you do not start using this exercise as an excuse to procrastinate on the little things though. You still need to clean the bathroom. You still need to pay the bills. You know, these are the things that support your priorities, isn't it? So make, you know, and of course, you know, making sure that the, the things that are seemingly small, they're the ones which help you maintain your family and a normal life. So don't, 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 don't take them for granted. And above all, you know, this is my area 
ensure that you still have time to indulge your favorite passions. For me, free time, quiet time, I'm an ambivert. I'm very extroverted, but I'm also very introverted. I sway on both sides. And I can tell you when I'm, I need my introverted time, you can't. Like, I'm not even going to blink. I just need to be away from people. I don't want to talk to nobody. And that point for me is important. And even time, I tell my clients I have thinking time. I sit in this chair, I sit on the floor and I just, uh, uh, you know, sort my mind out. Like literally, I create files in my mind of what I need to do because thinking time is crucial. Why I've spent time on this area is because this is important for you to note. And it may sound like, oh, she's taken long here, but this is it. This is the gist of aligned living. This is the gist of you being able to prioritize and do the things that you need to do in the second half of the year. Step three is creating your 90-day plan. It's so important. I work in 90 days and I said, I'm going to talk about this. So number one is think big picture, the broad one. And I just put it into five categories, my big picture. Some of you can take this. Uh, it's five, you know, five things, faith, family, friends, finances. What did I do? I've left one. Faith, fam fitness. Sorry, the last one is fitness. Can someone write that in the chat for me? Fitness. So it's faith, family, friends, finances, and fitness. Those are the five big Fs. Once you have the big five Fs, set smart goals around them. So under each category, set goals for the next 90 days, e.g. for your fitness. In the next 90 days, June, July, August, right? July, August, September, I beg your pardon. I'll go to the gym three times a week with an aim to getting stronger, right? With an aim to building muscle, with an aim to whatever. And then the last bit is commit. Passion, I talk about this all the time. Passion is at the core of extraordinary success. Being in alignment means that it's not just the head, but also the heart. You're in it from the heart. And for me, I'm a heart person. Things operate from my heart even before they go to my head. I, I'm able to balance both because I'm also fairly logical, but I'm a heart person, right? But also the heart that can guide us onto the tasks right for us, Again, it has to feel right. Don't force yourself to do things. And not, don't be lazy on the other hand. Don't say, I'm not going to clean my house for six weeks. I don't mean that. I want you to feel into the things that you do because these are the things that keep us functioning at the peak, high performance, at the peak of our abilities. Tell me in the chat I have understood and that we are together. Flood the chat with we are together. If you're together, we are together. If you're not together, don't say you don't. We are not together if you're not. So, hi, Christine. Everyone who shows me love is a rock, for love is the greatest gift. I love that. Gladwell, me, my family, our health and peace of I love that. Family, health, ET. Bella, my family, my health, my spirituality is so good. Julia, family, work, business, health. Yeah, so good. I see you guys, Nadine. I see Esther, Lydia. I see all you can name everybody, but I can tell you this is really good and you guys are getting something, right? I'm so happy we are together. Yes, understood, Rose. Yes, oh, for, yeah, Esther doesn't play with her fitness. I know there was a time she was doing some 4 a.m. personal training and I'm like, wow. And it was in the winter, so I can't even imagine. Right, we are together. I have understood. Oh, I'm, I love it. <laughs> Carol, I see that. I don't even know how to get that. Rosemary, crystal clear. All right, thank you, ladies. This session is lit. Ah, oh, bless you. That's what I want to create. Grace Mariam. Nice to have you, sweetheart. She's been such a long-standing client of mine. She's attended my retreats. And you know what, guys? I just love the community I've created, the tribe of people. I mean, oh, you're on and awesome. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm so grateful that I have loyal, loyal clients, people who have been with me for years, right? Like years. And it's not a joke that I don't take it really lightly at all. I think she's attended all my events in Nairobi, most of them at least. So I'm so happy that you're here, sweetheart. And I hope that Ian and Ivy are well. Those are her babies. Part two, common mistakes people make when it comes to getting aligned goals. Say I am ready to understand the common mistakes. I, want, I wanted to put more, but I'm like, no, no, no. We're going to be here until the cows come home. And I really want to make sure that you get the most of the time that we're together. So can someone tell me, write common mistakes. Just write common mistakes in the chat. That's all I need to see before I get to them. Write common mistakes. Common mistakes. Common mistakes. Someone. 
Come on, come on, come on. You're ready to understand. That's so cute. Thank you. All right, let's go to common mistakes, right? And I'll add a few more. Let me show you. Let me show you. <laughs> Your goals are not aligned. You're making goals from looking at other people. You're very busy following the goals of your husband and your teacher and your boss, not your own. So I want to say this, you know, if your goals are not aligned, it means they're not in a straight line. They're not in a correct relative position. Listen to what alignment is. Alignment is a position of agreement. So you and your goals are not one. That's a big problem. Or alliance to a cause, a situation or person. In essence, when we line, align with something, we're in agreement with it. So if you set a goal and you're contradicting yourself with it, you say you want to lose, to release weight, and then you're eating 56 burgers a week, you're not aligned. You're not speaking the same story. If you say that you want to launch a new business and you, you're not visible, you, you're not sharing with people what you do, you go to a party and you look at people instead of telling them what you do. And when your coach talks to you, you tell the coach, oh, I don't like being exposed. I don't like people knowing what I'm doing. So how do you expect your business to grow if nobody knows what you do? You know what I mean? You become a walking contradiction. You're saying one thing and you're doing the exact opposite, right? So when you're in alignment, this is often our settled position towards something we see. It's a settled position. It's a knowing. It feels right. We see it. And even if it has not happened yet, it's right. It sits well. It encapsulates your thoughts, your choices, and direction in life. So what am I trying to say? You and your vision should be one. If you're apart, just go back. Go check. Where is your mindset at? What's messing you up? What are the blockages? What's happening in your life? There should be no contradiction or mixing signals. What you want is what you want. Own your decisions. Own your desires and pursue them. Get an action plan, get a coach, get a mentor. Get somebody to support you. You can have multiple mentors, I do, who serve different things, right? But I want you to be in a position where you take ownership of your life. You take personal responsibility for your life. There's no shaming, there's no blaming. There's no throwing things at other people. It's your life, yours. Today when you die, it's you and your God. You'll answer to him what you did with it. Your goals are not aligned. Mistake number one. Mistake number two. <laughs> your mindset is not in the right place. You see, when this guy just looks like, let me tell you what. The Bible says something. A double-minded man shall be. I think the word is, is spat out or whatever. Someone just get it for me. Let me even pull it for you. Double-mindedness is a very big thing. I want this. I'm not sure. I don't know. You know, you're all over the place, you're scatterbrained, you're cluttered mind, you're just together. Let me say, let me get it for you. Because, <laughs> let me get it for you. It says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Like this one here. Do you want to be unstable in all your ways? You know, tell me, what is being double-minded? It means accepting two sets of contrasting beliefs. And that's in the book of James 4, 8. Co listen to that, accepting two sets of contrasting beliefs. You can't be in a growth mindset and be in a fixed mindset. You can't be, you know, leading this life, you know, this aligned, abundant life and you're you have a scarcity mentality. Someone offers you something and you're like, no, I don't have money. I don't have money. I don't know where my money is coming from. And you're saying you want big things. You want, you have to learn to invest in yourself, to put your mouth where your money is. I was talking to my dad about something this morning and he said that to me. He's like, you really put your mouth where your money is. It's a certain investment that I've been doing. And um, he's like, you really are serious. And I'm like, of course, because I'm putting my, you know, he's like, I can see you putting your money where your mouth is. And I'm like, yeah, I just don't want to, to, to be mediocre. I don't want to play small. When I've decided, I've decided. And many of you, your mindset is not in the right place. Your mindset sets a foundation for the way you experience your life. And let me tell you this, there's nobody perfect in mindset. Mindset is an ongoing thing. You can never say, oh, my mindset is perfect. Even I do my own mindset challenge, which I'll be talking about later today. We'll be running um, the Mindset Makeover program from the 7th of July. Why 0707? Because seven is the number of perfection and completion. And I know that everybody who does that program or signs up for that program, their lives will never be the same again. 
listen, the exact same events can happen to two different people. And each person's brain will interpret the happenings and, rea and react differently, right? There are two twins, well, two twins. Oh my God, that's terrible English. There are twins, right? And one of the twins said he would never, ever, 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 ever touch alcohol. His other, his brother, his twin, was a total alcoholic. I'll use Kiswahili and translate in English. Mlevi wakupindukia. That means a, a drunkard to the, you're the ones who follow the road. Mlevi wakupindukia, that's Swahili. Like a drunkard, drunkard, drunkard. You're the ones who follow the road. And when, you know, they were asked separately, you know, why you like that? The first twin number one said, the reason I'll never touch alcohol is because my dad was a severe drunkard. So I said, I'll never be like him. The other twin said, oh, my dad, victim mentality, was a drunkard and he, you know, I have those genes, so that's why I drink the way I do. Two people living under the same roof, same parents, but their lives take a different path. Ask yourself where you've accepted mediocrity and you're playing small. Your mindset is not in the right place. You have settled for safe. No more, not under my watch. Something has to change. Something has to shift. Something has to move. Let me tell you, even if you're, you know, thinking, oh, I'm all right. I'm good. You know, that that thing that people have, that sort of uh, snotty thing that, mm, I'm okay. Hmm. I'm fine. Hmm. No, we all need to move and change our mindset. Oh, that's so cute. Grace says that her kids are part of the session, each with a notebook. That is so beautiful. Thank you so much. Bless them. Greet them and tell them Auntie Joanne loves them. Sylvia says, for being as he is a man of two minds, I love it. And I think this is amplified. This must be the amplified version. Hesitating, dubious, irresolute. Are you that? Are you hesitant? Are you dubious? Do you take time to make decisions like just things that it's either a yes or a no? You know, let your yes be yes and your no be no. It's as simple as that. I always tell people, let your yes be, don't drag things for months. Oh, I'll think about it. Let me pray over it. Let, yes, pray over it. That's fine. But sometimes God is urging you. And I keep telling you that delayed obedience is still disobedience. If you had it in your spirit, it aligns with you, run with it. Unreliable and uncertain about everything. He thinks, feels, decides, oh my God, let's leave it there. I don't even want to even talk. That's spoken for so many things. Mistake number three, you do not review your goals or you set too many goals, 52 goals. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to launch a business. I'm going to get a new job. I'm going to get a new boyfriend. I'm going to, uh, to date every single week. I'm going to join 56 Tinder applications. I'm going to become the, the, the deacon in the church. I'm going to become the pastor's secretary. I'm going to become my boss's first-hand person. Oh my God recipe for disaster that's another one it's separate from this too many goals you're all over the place oh i'm going to da, 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 da. i'm buying a car i'm going to buy a house i'm going to buy a ship a yacht <laughs> oh true like prioritize do the exercise the ja exercise like come on you can do everything come on come on just pick a few You've not review your goals. You need to analyze what worked, what did not work, so you can use this information to move you forward. I had a goal that I want, I set for June, and one of my friends here, I set it with her, um, but it didn't happen, but I understand why it did not happen. It's because I never gave it the time because I had these other goals that were, to me, seemingly more important. So do not be ignorant or reckless around the direction you want to go in life. Recklessness is a bad thing. It's that double-mindedness. It's that unstableness. It's that irresol ir irresoluteness. You need to be anchored and grounded so you can see results. Right? For me, anchored and grounded. Oh, my God. I forgot my... I have some lemon tea. It must be cold by now. Let me just take a sip because my throat is feeling a little dry. I won't keep you too long. I just need to finish teaching so that you guys get what it is that you came for. Oh my God, that's so good. Let me take another sip. So, do not be ignorant or reckless around the direction you want to go in life. And I said right in the chat, you need to be anchored and grounded. So right, anchored and grounded. 
you can even write A and G and understand what you mean. I just want to know that we're together. Socrates said that an examined life is not worth living. So if you don't examine your life, so what living? You're wasting your time. Yeah. Yeah, I can see them. <laughs> Maria, I don't know what you... <laughs> I must have cracked a joke. I'm always laughing. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, I see you, Julia. I see you, Rosemary. I see you, Lydia, Nana. I see you, Floor, HFN, Rose, Alma, Kaine, Alma, Gladwell, you know, Geshi, Bella. I see you all. I see you, Esther. I see you, Marie, Carol. All right, we're good. Let's keep going. Mistake number four is the operators alone who rule. You know those people? Yeah, I don't need friends. Me, I'm okay. I, I'm talking Kenyanese here. Me, I. <laughs> it's very, that's how people talk, right? Even, even in other places, me, I, right? Me, I'm fine on my own. I don't like women. You know how women can be funny? I don't like. Your operators are lone wolf. And to you, you think you, it's a good thing you're praising yourself. I'm so sorry for you. Really sorry for you because we're not created to live in isolation. We're not created to live in an island. Oh, I can't trust anybody. People have let me down in the past. Those ones let you down in the past. We're in the present and we're going into the future. So if you want to remain like that in your own little cave, in your own little cocoon, then remain that way and don't be surprised why things are not working for you because no one is holding you accountable. You're not allowing anyone into your life. So you let things slide. No one is asking you the hard questions. So you wake up and you decide to do things the way you want, sleep until midday. No one will ask you. No one, because you said you're, you don't care. You don't care about other people. You don't care about you're okay the way you are. You're not okay. Get out of that mindset and you need to do the mindset makeover if you're a lone wolf. Things have to change. Accountability is when you're answerable for your actions. Who are you answerable to? I'm covered everywhere. I'm accountable everywhere. I'm accountable as a wife. I am accountable as a coach. I am accountable as a leader, as a teacher. I am co I'm covered in my health and, and uh, fitness. I am covered literally in every area of my life. I have somebody who is holding me accountable. I have accountability partners for my businesses. Of you who are doing the June accountability program, you met one of my accountability partners, Nicola. I don't play. I'm very open to accountability because I'm coachable and I'm teachable and I'm willing to learn. I don't have this high nose snotty thing that I'm fine, I'm good, I don't need anyone. So having a mentor, understanding what your core values are, and when you're aligned to your core values, you'll allow yourself to be held to a higher standard. That's what excellence is, that's my core value, excellence. So for me to live a life of excellence, I need to be held to a higher standard. And I cannot do that for myself. Somebody has to ask me the hard questions in my life. Tell me this makes sense to you, number four. And I'm not chastising anybody. Please don't start thinking like I'm being mean. Like, don't take it personal. I'm just teaching you. I'm just helping you. Like, don't start thinking, oh, she's talking to me. Now I'm not. No, don't take it that way. I'm just teaching, right? So don't start personalizing stuff that and sending me messages later. You called me a lone wolf. I don't know you. <laughs> I'm just teaching. It's general. Right? And if you need to change, you know you need to change because that's why it has convicted you. Oh, Alma, that's awesome. You'll get to hear about how we can hold your kind. I know, I guess she. <laughs> you don't know the messages I get sometimes. People, you know, it's so funny. I know. You called me a lone wolf. You called me a wolf. No, I didn't. I, so I'm teaching. Like, I don't know you. We are not in the same house. I'm just teaching. Mistake number five you set negative goals. What are negative goals? Listen to this. I want to lose weight or I must, I must stop staying late at work. You're starting with a negative. You're focusing on what you don't want, right? Do you get what I mean? This can make them, an emo I've even put that in bold. This can make them an emotionally unattractive because causing you to lose focus. So reframe your goals positively, positively. For example, instead of saying, I want to lose weight, change it to what I said. I want to get stronger. I want to get healthy. I want to increase my lifespan. Do you understand what I'm saying? Reframe your goals from negative to positive. And that's why many people don't crush their goals because they're operating from them in that unemotionally, that emotionally unattractive way. So their, their, their goals become burdens to them. Do you get what I mean? I must 
I must change my job. So you, it becomes heavy on you rather than I want to change in direction. I want to up level my career. Do you see the difference? Can you just tell me if you can understand what I'm saying? See the difference. Tell me if you can understand the difference in what I'm saying. Oh, uh, bless you. Yes, yes, yes. You will get the recording at limited time. I think we're going to have it for the next 72 hours. All right. You get what I mean, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. So I want you to begin making decisions that align more with your future self. So if your current self is broke, if your current self is negative, if your current self, your mindset is not in the right place, start thinking about your future self. Who do you want to be? How are you showing up? What is the sort of person that you're working towards becoming? What sort of role model do you want to be for your children? Do you understand what I mean? You're, not, you're looking at the future, not the present. You're working from a place of faith, not what you're seeing right now with your, with your eyes. Because many of us look at things from our eyes, our current circumstances. Oh, my salary, it's so bad. I can't even do anything. No, you start thinking like that. It's, such, it's just bad energy for you. But when you start saying that I am blessed, I am prosperous. I am favored. I am a magnet for miracles. I attract greatness in my life. You start speaking those things over your life. That greatness is my second name. You start demanding and putting a, 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 a put, you know, put, putting a demand on what you want to see. It changes everything. And that's where a mindset makeover comes in. So tell me in the chat, <laughs> are you ready to finally get back your mojo in life, your career also, business? Do you desire real and lasting change? I think when I was writing that thing, it was so clear to me those were the words I wanted to use because sometimes we say we're going to change, but it's temporary and it's sometimes fake change. It's just for a short time. But do you want real and lasting change? Do you want to make this six, next six months count for you, for something epic, something memorable? Do you want to look back and say the second half of 2023 is when I insert the blank? Is when I, you know what I mean? Like uh, 31st of December, you're having these cocktails with your friends and you're having a wonderful time and you're toasting and you're like, oh my God, this last year, six months, I crushed it yes you want your mojo back yes i love this yes is all right ladies i've got to you i've got you i've got you i see all the comments in the chat thank you so much so do you you know i love oprah well i love oprah she has cheer to feature do you see how being able to step into alignment and getting your priorities in order could help you step into a mindset of inevitable success in Q3 and Q4. Again, say yes. Yeah. And if it's no, please, I don't want to know. Like, keep your nose to yourself. I just want to say yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Will we get a recording? Yes, you will get a temporary recording. It's going to be for the next 72 hours, I believe, or something like that. So once I send it to you later, I'll like, take time to watch it. And yeah, but if you can't stay to the end, that would be fantastic because I have a fabulous offer at the end. Obviously, I can't string you along and just dump you. I'm not one of those guys who dangle a carrot stick at people and leave them hanging. I have something I'm going to share in a few minutes. Yes, I've seen all the yeses. Thank you so much, my girls. Lady Rihanna, I love her. <laughs> so are you ready to create structures and systems that will allow you to not only achieve but suppress your goals for the next six months. Just look at that bling. It's so hot. She just looks so good. Can I see my yeses or no? Look at her. So gorge. Are you ready to create structures? Yes, 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 yes. I'm, you know, I'm not even reading. I'm just saying yes for myself. Let me read if there are yeses. Oh, it's, oh my God, this is interesting. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. Let's keep going. All right. Now imagine, is Kathy here? I don't know if Kathy is here, but I'm going to bring someone else as well. But I would love to share Kathy's story. Kathy, this is one of my clients. I absolutely adore her. She's based in Nairobi. Now imagine, just like Kathy, the joy of being on fire with your goals, your ambitions, and getting into a truly elevated mindset that not only sees 
limitless possibilities. Just think about that, that you're living in a state where you believe in, in, in infinite possibilities. So her, her organization is called The Conscious Planet. She's a health coach and she did a mindset makeover. She says it's truly transformational. So glad to be going through the 30 day journey again. So she's not done it once. She's not done it twice. She's done it several times. Why? Because these lessons, you keep up level, you keep moving from one level to the next. You can learn these things and think you've reached the end of it. So that's one example. And I'm going to bring someone real quick right now. Uh, Rose, are you available to, to, to come in? Rose, I just want you to unmute yourself because Rose uh, is another one who did the mindset makeover and her life completely changed. Rose, can you speak? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, love. How are you? Fine, thank you. Hi, everybody. Hi, Rose. Where you? You? Where, I know where you are, but tell us where you are at. Yes, I'm in Nairobi. Sorry, I can't see a uh, video. Uh, I can't see the video. Yes, so I don't know how to yeah, turn know. on my video. Honestly, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> but sorry. Yeah, but it's okay. I'm here, so I just wanted to give a a, a brief. Brief testimonial, hi, Nyambura. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm a big, 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 big fan of uh, Joanne's coaching programs. Um, I joined her, I, I followed Joanne for two years, I think, since 2020, but I joined her first program in January of 2020, the next level on purpose. Mm -hmm. And that was because I got into a point where I got, I felt very stuck. So I've been in industry 23 years. I've worked for six multinationals wow. <laughs> and I finally set up a company in 2017. And I didn't realize how hard the switch from being an employee in the corporate world mm -hmm. to being a business owner is, is uh, it can really just take you out. Yes. Um, so by the time I was joining her program, I had already got to a point where I was thinking I made the wrong turn because I'd run the business for three years. Mm. Uh, and it was, uh, so my business is an uh, impact business. Yes. Now, now I know that. I started off just thinking, okay, I'm switching from my career of being a project manager, engineer um, in the construction industry. And uh, I've been doing this for the multinational, so I'm going to do it for myself. Uh, but what I realized later, now I've been, it's five years since I set it up, mm -hmm. it's really impact. My purpose is to impact society and change lives. Yeah. And I'm very passionate about building skills and capacity for professionals in the mm -hmm. construction industry mm -hmm. so that our infrastructure in Africa is built by Africans. Yes. At the moment, a lot of it is being built by um, the foreigners. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can see from the last 10 years, most of our infrastructure has been built by the Chinese in Kenya, and it's left a big, big, big impact uh, on um, big, big loans that we're struggling to pay. And we still have a lot more infrastructure to build. Mm -hmm. So anyway, back to me, yes. after running the business for three, three years, and uh, literally getting to the brink of bankruptcy because I, I put in a lot of time and money and it, nothing was coming back. Mm. I, I felt that maybe I'd, I'd taken the wrong move. Mm. So I went back into employment in 2020 during COVID, mm. but I felt dissatisfied. I was working in Kericho in Kenya for the tea plantation. Mm -hmm. And it was an interesting, exciting job, but my calling could not give me rest. Right. I wanted to go back, but I didn't know how to go back. Mm. So I joined the next level on purpose and it was a game changer mm. because during that 12 weeks, I think we spent or 16 weeks we spent with um, Joanne. Mm. I learned so much about mindset yes. and peeled away the wrong mindset. Yeah. Uh, capacity to abundance, to just learning about the magnetic uh, energies and the wrong energies. And um, the other benefit that really came out, I would say there were bonuses that came out of going through the program with Joanne. One, mm -hmm. I, I, I was able to get proper spiritual alignment because of people I met on the, on the community. Mm -hmm. Kainet, who's here today. Oh, bless. Yeah. <laughs> 
connected me with the Bible study BSF and I started to read the word wow. and that that became the first real anchor to bring me back to my uh purpose yeah. and I also met Becky Becky yeah. I don't know whether Becky is with us today she runs a program uh, she's a she's an inner healing coach yeah um and I joined her spirit lifestyle so that was a big bonus. The other big bonus that came from uh, aligning with uh, Joanne's programs is the community. Wow. It's created a community. So Joanne herself has now become one of my intercessors, prayer intercessors and grace yes. carriers. Yes. I've got E.T., who's another of my prayer warriors. I've got an accountability part, two accountability partners out of this. Yuna, who's here today, Nyambura. Wow. Um, so you can see by just joining just one program, I felt like I, I've, I've gained so much. So that program, of course, got me back aligned and I restarted my company again in October of 2022 and I'm back online to doing what it is God called me to do, which is to contribute my skills, knowledge into the uh, developing the construction industry in Kenya and in Africa. Yes. Um, but also for me, this is like a well I come back to draw from from time to time. I love that. Uh, I love so that. I've joined the hundred days uh boot program of the joined the vision boot camp. Yes. I've uh, joined the align this, this particular media reset, the lady anchored. So it's it's just so much that comes out of out of this. So Thanks. yes, I've just I just wanted to share. I'm very aligned back to what. I love what my what my what my heart wants. Yeah. And I know that even when I falter, yeah, I can always come back and draw from this well and the communities wow. and the people. So just by connecting with Joanne, I've connected and I know I'll continue to connect with so many other women that are on the same journey. Yeah. Yeah. So that's Thank just my you. share. Thank you, Joanne. And uh, share. God Thank bless you, you so and much. keep keep adding more and more and more from where that came from. Thank you, Rosa. And thanks for honoring your call. Thank you for honoring your call as well and for trusting me as your coach and mentor. It's such a privilege and I really thank God for you. Thank you ever, ever so much. Thank you. So, um, you know, when you, you just like grows, right? When you're in a place that your honor, you know, you're operating from a place that honors your core values. You make decisions so much faster and your life is in flow. You forget the hassle and endless strife. You can now focus on slaying in your lane. So right, I'm slaying in my lane. That is what alignment is. And just so you know, uh, the first photo, I was getting a gift for being one of the most active people in a certain coaching program from one of my mentors here in the UK. Her name is Gemma. She's really supported me in my business. And, you know, you know, I've, as I said, I've had so many different mentors, but Gemma was one of them and I attended one of her events not too long ago and she was acknowledging my contribution in the program that I signed up for why because I was slaying in my lane I was the only woman of color in that program everybody else was a different skin color from me but I repped for the rest of us for the rest of the people who look like me I represented really well in the middle is my sister. She's based in Australia. Her name is Jackie. Look how happy she is. We went for a game drive. Uh, we were in Masai Mara for eight days with my entire family. And that is for me, slaying in my lane, forgetting the hassle and endless strife and just enjoying life. Look at her face. She's just in pure, pure peace and joy. And that's me journaling my life away. I love to journal. I love to journal. I love to journal. I'll journal two, three, four times a day. Sometimes I'll journal not at all for two or three days because I don't just journal for the sake. I journal when I feel called to. And why journaling is so important is because it brings me back to that sacred place where I'm in full alignment, right? Where I'm in full alignment. So hand on heart, honestly, and hand on heart, you'll get the unshakable confidence, belief, and certainty. Like you can see me literally, they are hand on heart. You'll have the confidence, the belief, and certainty that you'll accomplish all you've set out to do when your mindset is in the right place. So just write for me that I get this. Yes, you're slaying in your lane. <laughs> yeah, I'm slaying in, let me tell you, when you slay in your lane, there's zero pressure. You don't, you're not performing. You really don't care. You know what I mean? Like, 
you're just yourself. It's you and your God. And, you know, you're not stressed. You're just living your life. And you're not, you know, yes, Christine, I see that. Let me tell you what, my friends, when you're yourself, you're yourself. You don't stress. Tanisha, so nice to have you, darling. So excellent to have you, Tanisha. It's been such a long time. I love that you're here. Right, Carol, you get this. Yes. So you're confident because your mindset is in the right place, right? Like Rose, she went all the, through this, all this tunnel to a staff and she was just like being thrown all over the place. But she came to the place of grounding because she sat down to work on her mindset, find out what's not working and really face, you know, face the situation as it was and rectify. And now she's in a place where she's building up. You know, sometimes you have to be broken to be built, right? That I have to be broken to be built. I've been broken myself. Hope I'm not going to start crying. I'm a crier. And I remember some things. I've hit rock bottom. Not once. Because sometimes I need to be broken to be. I will not even. So now you have two choices, my loves. <laughs> you can take what I've taught you here today. And try to figure out the rest on your own. And that's okay. You know, I have my lone wolves. They are happy to do things on their own. I've given you really juicy content. You can go figure it out on your own. That's okay. I mean. You do what you want, that's life. And I respect that because sometimes people are not ready. You know what I mean? Like you can be here and you're not ready for what I'm about to share. And that's perfectly okay. Because I always tell my clients when the teacher, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. So for some you, for some of you, for some you, for some of you, the teacher has appeared. You're ready. You're available. You're like, I'm ready. Whatever she's saying, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna align with her. I'm not gonna be a lone wolf. I'm gonna make a dis I'm gonna take a decisive stand. I'm going to own my decisions and I'm going to fight for my destiny. Those are some of you. You're like, I'm gonna do epic things in the six next six months. I cannot do them on my own. I need to be supported. I need structures. I need systems. I need my mind in the right place. I need this coach. If that's you, I'm here for you. But if you want to do it on your own, again, I respect that. That's okay. You know what I mean? Like, if not everybody who goes to the gym has a personal trainer and they still get results, right? It's just that sometimes the results will take so much longer. So for me, I always tell people, I like the shortest path to, to, to results. And if that means me hiring somebody to help me get the results, I'm very happy to do that. Yeah? And if you're like me, you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, you mean, oh my God. Huh. Broken down to be rebuilt. I can write a whole story here. Or you can let me help you. You can let me help you get that much needed mindset shift. Not, it's not even one shift, it's shifts many. Help you prioritize the next six months in an aligned manner, as well as teach you a clear structured process to help you achieve your goals. Listen with grace, ease, and flow. Right for me, G-E-F, Jeff, Gef, Jeff, Gef. <laughs> grace, ease, and flow. It's time for you to hop out, not hope. Hop, hop, jump out of the struggle bus and jump into the high-speed train of abundance. I love English. It's probably one of my best languages. I love writing. I love, I just love to communicate. So these words just came out of me when I was writing these slides. Honestly, you guys will believe these slides. Story for another day. Anyway, um, I had done completely different slides. They were ready this morning. I literally woke up and, and when I was praying, God is like, change it. These slides were done today. All these slides were done today. I completely took out everything I was teaching and completely changed it. And that's when you're obedient. That's obedience. I'm like, I want something different. I didn't want to do the regular slides that people just, you know, those PowerPoint, ding, ding, ding. And I'm like, I want something creative. I want something different. And God gave it to me. He told me exactly what to do. So it's time for you to hop out of the struggle bus and jump into the high-speed abundance train of abundance. The high-speed train of abundance. Who wants to be in the high-speed train? Or you want to be in those people? Or you believe it's an issue? Honestly, I took away everything I had created. I'd created like, I think 50 slides different. And I was like, I was just told do it differently. So who wants to be in the high-speed train of abundance? Or you want to remain in your struggle bus? I hope not. So... The July edition of the 30-Day Mindset Makeover program is now officially open. At 18.24, my time, I don't know what your time is, it is officially open. And you guys get Alibad pricing. The price has changed today. It was higher. Some of you had already asked and I had given you a higher price. I was given an instruction to reduce it slightly, which I did. So we're going to talk about that right now. So what is it? 
and it's a structured, tried and tested system for accomplishing your goals in the different areas of your life. You're going to get daily action steps. When I say daily, I mean daily. I'll be with you for 30 freaking days. Day one, do this. Day two, do this. Day three, do this. You know what I mean? That will help you move from scattered to certain. I love that. So where you're all over the place, I'm going to help you to be certain. I want to build your faith and I want you to achieve what you said you're going to do. You're going to get weekly calls with me where you'll get top-notch no, uh, coaching from a global coach and get all your questions answered. This is priceless. There's no uh, price I can put to this. And then, as I said, you're going to get specific and highly targeted daily emails, taking you through very practical and actionable mindset lessons. If you're one of those people who are like, my mindset needs to shift, a lot needs to change, I'm going to crush these goals, these next six months are going to be epic, this is for you. It's about taking massive action and building insane confidence. Someone asked me, oh, I want a longer program, I want more than 30 days, and I want to say this, the 30 days is just the springboard. Because what you can achieve in 30 days, why delay? Why are you delaying success? You know, many of us think that the longer a thing is, the more you get out of it. That's a lie from the pit of hell. We can compress learning. Can someone write for me, compress learning? You can achieve so much in 30 days than in my programs that are three, four, five months. And this is the springboard. It puts your mindset in the right place so that you can be able to do bigger things. So when your foundation is right, 30 days is sufficient. And then after that, we move to other things, compressed learning. You don't have to learn forever. And there are people who just want to learn forever. Oh, I want the six month one. I can give it to you. No problem. But I can tell you that compressed learning really works. Why? Because you have that time frame to get this stuff and to get moving. And as I said, success loves speed. So if you're one of those people who's like, oh, let me dilly dally, let me no. Six months will end like that. So these are the first 30 days I want you to get yourself moving. And that's why I say there's a, an anointing for completion. That's why it's starting with 0707. 07 is the number of perfection and completion. We all need this program, each one of us. And I take it alongside you. It's a very, it's a program that helps you raise your vibration around success. Every single day for 30 days, you have no choice but to succeed when you do this program. I kid you not. And then obviously you get private community forum with me and private community forum with me and with the high level accountability people you had what rose said she's made so many friends through my contacts she's made so many contacts and that's what happens because i attract amazing people i keep telling my friends and peers that i'm probably one of the coaches who has the most amazing clients and everybody says that about their people but mine for real i attract amazing 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 women um there's a link there for registration i'm going to talk about it right now even the Q QR code, is that what it's called? Is that, is that thing called QR code? Is that, is that the name? Tell me, is it QR or is, it, is that its name? So the 30 Mindset Makeover was created to help you and we are finishing up in the next five or so minutes uh, to step into a fully aligned lifestyle with peace of mind being your default. Improve your decision-making process. No more walking in indecision. You decide. Your yes is yes, your no is no. For some of you, you've already decided. I mean, this Mindset Makeover. For some of you, I'm like, no, it's not for me and that's okay. Let your yes be yes and your no be no, like the way that woman is doing, it's on. I hope for you it's on. You're like, I'm doing this thing. And then also find and fix the thoughts behind your personal ineffectiveness. We all have areas of personal ineffectiveness. Let me help you fix those things so that you can be able to create such a beautiful runway for the next six months. And then, of course, develop better judgment in battling negative self-sabotaging thoughts that are keeping you stuck and stagnant. Stagnant waters are the worst. They're dangerous. They're not moving. They're poisonous. They stink. Have you seen stagnant waters? They smell so bad. Because there's no life in it. It's not moving. It's just stagnant. It's just, and being stagnant is a very dangerous position to be. So I want you to write, I, I choose to step out of stagnancy. And we all have areas of stagnancy. Say, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting, ladies. I'm just checking something real quick. Stagnant water, stagnant life, and stagnant thoughts can create problems. So keep moving. Don't let stagnancy be your default. Life is all about flowing. Don't be stagnant water. Please don't. 
don't be stagnant water. Be moving, be flowing. You choose to step out of stagnancy. I love it. Because we all have areas, right? It's, it's, we are human. We are areas where things are not moving. And we know those areas. We all have them me included. And that's where mindset makeover comes in. Like, yeah, I see you, Mercy. So, Juliana, Juliana, are you here? I just want Juliana to share real quick if she can. I know she said she'll be here. But she really gave me a beautiful testimonial. And she did the mindset makeover just the other day. And she said something so beautiful. And before, you know, I, I bring, Juliana, are you there? Just write for me, yes, in the chat. Sorry, I can't see. Um, if she's here, if she's not, it's okay. But I'm going to check. She says, hi, Joanne, thank you, email me this. Thank you so much. I have no words but to thank you for your support during the last one month. It's a 30-day program through the Mindset Makeover program. I've gained so much clarity of what God wants me to do at this moment in time. I have decided that I'm capable and equipped to build a global, global business that serves others. I'll unmute you just now, Juliana, don't worry. Um, that thank you so much for your support. Where I'm bringing these people in, and Juliana, you'll keep it short, is because people bring in other webinars, they sort of do fake testimonials, you know what I mean? Right? They do fake testimonials, but here we are not doing any fake testimonials. So, Juliana, I just want you to unmute. We bring the real thing because honestly, I, I want you to hear from real people just like you. You know, I'm, we're not making this stuff up. You know, it's real people, real results. Uh, I can't see you, Juliana. Hold on. It is just bear with me. I'm just trying to pull her up. All right, Juliana, you can go. Thank you, Coach Owen. I hope I am, you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you, Juliana. Yes, I've, I joined Coach Johan in May this year. Yeah. When I was feeling really, I think my mind was blocked completely. Yes. I didn't know which direction I was going. Mm. So we started with mindset changeover. Mm. Makeover. In, makeover. Sorry, mindset makeover, and it has really changed my life. If we started, at least right now, I know how to make decisions, how to have faith in myself. They will, in fact, those are the tip of the iceberg in the program. I cannot really tell you the whole program, how it is. It's not worth any price, my dear friends. The program is really costless when you think about it. Mm -hmm. After I finish 30 days, of surrendering, letting it go, forming habits in my life. Mm. I was not able to form my company. I was not able to get clarity of what, what I'm able Post to do. Juliana, Post Juliana, when did you, in, in the, it's a 30 day program. When yes. did you launch your, your company in that, in that period of the mindset makeover? When did, just tell them specifically the date, because I know when you launched the business that you had been planning for years. Yes, yes. I launched it on the 15th of June. 40, 14th of June is when the registration came out. But after, after 10 days of the mindset program is when mm -hmm. I got the clarity of what I was able to do. After so 10 days, you got clarity. And then on the 14th of June, she registered her business. Ladies, give it up for her. That's what I do. And that's why I say this is compressed learning. You don't need six months to launch a business. You don't need six months to get clarity. It takes days if you allow yourself and open your heart to receive. Keep going, Juliana. Sorry, I just wanted to to say yes, something. yes. So in, in this particular program, mm. I learned that even the properties I have and everything, mm. all I cannot stay in the houses. In my my mindset is everything. It's not the balcony I have. It's not the houses. So I to work on my mindset first to get clarity of what I wanted in life. So most of the time, I could set my goals only based on financial issues. But now the program, it shows you how to set your, your goals based on the seven areas of your life. Also, how to the important of having a vision board and all that. I don't want to, I don't want to at, at least to expose the program right now. I wanted to surprise <laughs> you so it surprised me. But it was a life changeover for me. Oh, bless you. So somebody who is sitting and listening and thinking, oh, me, I'm fine. I don't need this life makeover. I'm okay. My life is good. What would you say to such a person? Because you had a fairly good life yourself, but you knew that something needed to change. So what would you say to somebody who is sitting, who is thinking, ah, 
maybe another time. By the way, I'm only running it this time around this year. Just I'm telling you the truth, it's not being held again this year. This is the last time I'm holding it in 2023. So if you're signing up, please sign up for this cohort unless you're ready to wait until 2024. So what did you tell somebody who's just like, mm, mm, maybe? Mm. In fact, <laughs> in, the, in the program, my land mm. someday is now. In Some, fact, this program. Let them raise uh, that in the chat. Someday is now. Is now. So, so you don't postpone it. You need it right now, the way I need it. In, mm. in you are very lucky. Maybe you, you are taking it when you are 20, 30. I'm taking when I'm at 50, when all my children they finish university. But now I'm looking for clarity and all that. It is a new, I'm starting a new change in my life. Wow. But thank you, God, Joanne. The 30 days, I mean, surely, it's not even enough to be 30 days. It, every day, it was really, I, I cannot express it myself. It has really changed even my children. Yeah. I'm here with them. They have really seen a change in my life. Wow. And it is really wow. Okay. At, at, least I'm, at least I'm now able to make my decision to move with my goals. I, I was able to clean up my mind, which I think it was full. And I think I was caring for everybody. I was not caring for myself. Yes. Now it's the time. Thank you, wow. Coach Johan. It has been wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. And then me. I keep on repeating every day. Once you have done the program, the program is yours. Well, like, so you on... In fact, you've even said something I, I forgot to say. It's a life yeah. program and people repeat it over and over and over again. As she said, she's yes. repeating it. I do my own mindset program. I did it with Juliana. I do it with my clients. It's yours yeah. for life. You keep it forever. You know, my coach tells me this. Yeah. You know, the people who are, who are just not kind, you know, they give you a program. They tell you, you lose access after a few months. Me, everything I teach is yours forever. You keep it. You refer to it over and over again. So thank you for bringing that point because I'd even forgotten it. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm so, so glad that your children get the benefit of this because, you know, you're thinking 50 and Juliana, I'm not going to, it's not going to sound funny, but I'll say it, it's half a century, right? But it's yes. not too late. It's not too late. You can start any time. And that's why I want people to know that you're never too late. God's time is perfect. So just wind up there, Juliana, so that I can finish this um, little segment left. Yes, yes. So I encourage everybody to join this program. It's Thank really, you. it's really wonderful, wonderful program for everybody. And it will help you, your lifetime, your children and everything you can learn. When you, when you go through a, a hard time, it shows you how to navigate the hard time. It shows yes. you where it sounds rises and it sounds goes down and you can do like this. The day will come. You have to surrender. Thank you so That's much, Coach Johan, for the program. So Kind Juliana, thank you for your beautiful testimonial. And as she said, I teach a lot of resilience uh, staff right there. And she mentioned that. So there's so much you can learn honoring your experiences. I mean, she said she doesn't want to preempt anything in the program. When you join, you'll get to know. So that's Juliana. Follow her. That's her new Instagram page. She's a brand new entrepreneur. She started this program in a short time. She had clarity. She's already built her business and registered it. So follow her on IG Blooms underscore beyond say you'll follow her oh that's so beautiful thank you for cheering her so, yes yeah, some days now where are we pushing things forward my coach tells me life is now press play that's what she always tells me so you're going to get an early bad bonus for those on the webinar those who have joined um you know as i say i reward early early takers like you sign up now within the next few you know uh, right now sign up today sign up tomorrow you get the bonus 30 minutes one to one call with me to chat your next 90 days i'll tell you this it ends on the first of july this offer people who sign after that the price will go up and once it goes up because we start on the 7th this bonus will not be there so this is for those on the call and those who register before the first of july and i always tell people why procrastinate you have your business card my here mine sits here ready to pay people my credit card for paying for coaching it sits right next to me so you can charge your card, you can pay by M-Pesa for those in Kenya, I'll share. But what you get through that bonus call, if you get it, you know, if you get in real quick, you get the 30 minutes, you'll get a higher level of accountability because I'll be pushing you ahead. I'll talk to you, I'll connect with you, I'll know who you are. And then you get quick movers advantage on your goals because I will help you really settle on what you're going to focus on. So if you have 56 goals, I'll tell you what are we going to concentrate on and we'll figure it out together. So you'll get 
ahead, you know, like uh, you'll get ahead of most of the others. And then of course you'll get personalized advice from a well-recognized global coach. I don't take this lightly. I've, I've invested in myself greatly. I've worked with some of the top level coaches in the industry. I know what I'm doing. The value of this call is $197. You get it for free. Um, 30 minutes, it extends, but I'm just saying 30 minutes is what I lock in. Sometimes we go a little further, but you get a lot out of those 30 minutes. Remember me, I'm about compressed learning. Being with you on the phone for too long may not necessarily help you, but I'll give you one thing, one strategy in one minute that will change your life. So that's the bonus. The total cost of this, you know, if we add all the things you get, you know, it's $997, but you're not going to get it at $997. You're going to get it at much less. Why? Because I'm in a very generous state of mind. And again, I want these 30 days to be the best 30 days of yourself. I want you to move from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset, to open up your mind and be like those two girls, just so free, so liberated, so open. Just I just looked at them and I'm like, these girls just represent a total mindset shift. So what's the investment? The investment right now is honestly a no-brainer, $197. It was before, so many of you who had spoken to me before you knew, I said it's 222, but I've changed that, that the 222 will be after the 1st of July. But for you ones on the webinar, is that proper English? You ones, you the ones on the webinar, you get paid in full, PIF is paid in full, Alibad with a 30 minute call, you get 197 for everything. Whereas 197 is usually what people say, pay for one call. You get this with a 30 day mindset makeover. So you get the complimentary and you'll save some money. But there's a second option. Some of you may not be able to pay the 197 in full. So you'll just pay a little bit more. So it will come to the 222. So you'll pay two installments of 111. So you'll pay 111 now, and then you'll pay 111 after, right? So you get to pay in two easy installments, but you still, whether you take the full or you pay the installment, if you do it within the Alibad timing, which is right now, you get a complimentary goal setting, um, personalized goal setting session with me. What is the link? The link, I'll put it in the chat here. It's this one here. You can screen, you, um, you can, uh, I don't need to screenshot. I want to put it for you. Let me just stop share for one second so that I can put the link in the chat for those. So someone is asking me what's the chat and we are winding up. Sorry, I've kept you a bit longer, but I really wanted to capture everything. Just tell me that you can see the link to register in the chat. Is it there? You can pull it up. And also you can use your camera to get the QR code. Um, and you you can get the link directly, right? So, um, if, like here, like there, that QR code at the top, you can capture that, and you can also screenshot and see. Join now at bit.ly slash mindset makeover July, uh, twenty three. So that's the option, and then. Uh, if you're in Kenya, you want to pay by M-Pesa that is available. My, I have a Kenyan line. So if you pay in full, it's 27500 to 0722601984. Again, you get the same thing, Alibad paid in full. You save some money and you get a complimentary call. So that's the Kenya shilling equivalent, right? And if you take the option of paying twice, you'll pay a little bit more, which will be 30,000 shillings. So you'll pay two installments of 15,000. You pay the 15,000 now, lock in your space, and then you're going to pay the other 15,000. So you get to pay two easy installments. So you're able to run your card, right? And you're also able to pay, um, as I said, uh, through M-Pesa. So you have that option. I'm going to share that with you shortly. So ready, ready to get started? Join now, don't procrastinate. Go and make your payment. I'm looking forward to welcome you. We have 28th is ending today. Then we have 29th, 30th. And then on the first, it will change. The price will go up to 222. So I suggest you take advantage and get the, uh, the call because after that, the complimentary call will not be available. So I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I'm blowing kisses to you. And I pray that you get so much value. We've got so much value of what I was teaching. And I want to open up for Q&A. That's me. You can see the weight loss. I can actually see the weight loss in me. Can you see it? Guys, just say yes or no. The weight release. I can see. As a, now when I'm looking at this photo, I'm like, I can actually see the difference. Tell me if you can see or not. And if you're not seeing, it's okay. I mean, I won't feel bad. But for me, I can see a substantial, substantial difference. Am I right? 
Yeah, so you can see, you can see the difference. Yes, thank you for saying that, yes. <laughs> One go, oh yes, yeah. So anybody has questions, you can see it, Yuna. And you are there, Yuna. Yuna was at this event here in London. She came all the way from Ghana. Yes, Yuna, you are there. You can see the difference, thank you. I'm glad that it was very helpful. And I, oh, your coach, oh, Koi, she's here. I hope to see you at the Mindset Makeover. So tell me, ladies, who, who has a question? Like, raise your hand. Let me stop share. I have a few minutes for Q and A. You know, feel free to ask me questions. I'm here. I don't bite. I don't eat. I'm really not eat people. I'm like really sweet. Like for real, I'm a bit strict, but I'm sweet. But also, some of you are not scared. You know, look what I did this little foot thing before. I said, ready to be coached into your greatness, your life and business. Deserve it. Let's talk. Or uh, maybe you just want to DM me or ask me a question. That's my email, Joanna Joannaturi.com. Or you can send me on IG a message because some people don't want to raise their hands. But as I said, this is an opportunity to ask me questions. Will the recording be available? I joined when the presentation was almost over. That's okay. You will have the recording for the next 72 hours. When the price changes, the recording will be pulled down. So I want you people who are watching the recording also to take advantage. Fast movers action because I said, you know, decisiveness is important. Like, Either you're in, you know, you know, you already know. Some of you are like, you know, I'm in, like, let's do this. You know, some of you are like, let me sleep over it. And it's okay. But ultimately, you know for yourself, this is for me, this is not for me. And whatever decision you make, I'm here to embrace you. I'm here to support you. And I'm here to help you. So any questions? I just want to give it one minute because it's literally um, quarter to seven. And we've been here for a while, so... I just need to hear from somebody if you have any questions. Just write yes or no in the chat. So any questions or say all clear. If it's all clear, say all clear. Just say all clear or not. Just say all clear, all clear, Kaine. Good. All clear. Wajiro, all clear, Nana. All right. All clear, all clear, Nadine. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let me just show you real quick one last thing. I see all the clears and I hope to see you as you see all clear in the Mindset Makeover. It's going to be awesome. Your life will never be the same. Right. Um, for the installments, please just text me directly, Wango. I'll talk to you about that separately. Just as I said, talk to me about this thing, that the second installment, we're going to talk about it. But I want to show you something real quick before we go. So those of you who are going to go online, you're going to go to that link. Uh, people always ask me this question. So this is it. So when you go to my payment page, you're going to come and you're going to put your name, right? My credit card is here. Some of you will pay with your credit card. So if you want to pay, so I put my name. It's even showing my company details. So whatever, my name, then my, your email address, I'm just keep showing you. Then you choose. You can say one-time payment. Or if you want to split, you come here, split, pay there, and it will show you first payment due now, and the next one due in one month. Have you seen that one go? I've answered your question there. And then some of you will want to pay earlier because you don't want to hold debt for unnecessarily. So that's how it works. And then you come and put in, if it's your credit card, you put in the credit card number there. I don't want my credit card numbers to show. And then you say complete order. Those are the ones paying by credit card. If you want to pay by PayPal, you click PayPal and then you complete your order by PayPal. If you want to pay by M-Pesa, it's here. 27,500 paid in full to 0722601194. That's my Kenya number. Or you pay two installments of 15,000 as I outlined here. So I've answered that question because I know it's not on you who has that question. Is that clear, ladies? Tell me if it's clear or not and how many are going to sign up. I hope to see. You all, uh, many of you there, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. So I'm hoping to see many of you there. So I guess that's it. We've all clear. Thank you so much. And, you know, I just want to wish you, you know, to say a very special blessing to each one of you who have attended. As I said, you know, this is my life calling. This is my life's work. And if I just impact one person today, I've done what I meant to do. And I've, met, I've, I'm do I've done what I meant to, you know, I've done my work for today. So where today I'm going to sleep, where I'm going to put this body to rest later. 
I can tell you I'll be a very happy person because I've accomplished what I needed to do. So I wish you all well. And if you have any questions, remember, you can email me. Let's put it there in the chat again. Uh, you're welcome, Yuna. Oh, bless you. And for the newbies, let's connect. Follow me on IG. Talk to me. Let me know what you're thinking. And my Instagram is purpose underscore cultivator at gmail.com. And if you want to WhatsApp me, you can use my link. No, I'm not. Am I muted? I'm not muted. Uh-uh, I'm not muted. Can some, Am I muted? Yeah, we all have to go. Yeah, I'm just putting the last thing. You can drop me a message. Yeah, so you can send me that message if you want to ask me a question after the call or whenever. All right, we are done. See you, everybody. I'll send the recording. It's been wonderful. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you in the Mindset Makeover or on the streets of the internet. See you. Bye, everybody. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye. See you.